Hi, my little loves. It's me, Mama Mimi. America, we've got to do so much better. Cops, we've got to do so much better. The things that are going on in the world that people think are social, socially acceptable, it's not. It's not by any means. How much of a threat was that man to you? Mr. Officer in Minneapolis that had your knee in the guy's neck until he stopped breathing. How much of a threat was he to you that you obviously felt comfortable enough to sit there with your hands in your pockets? He must not have been that big of a threat to you, was he? And then your partner just standing there watching as this happened? The man begging to breathe. That's not acceptable at all. It's not. I understand you've been fired. But now you need to be tried for murder because that's what that was. That's exactly what that was. That wasn't restraining or detaining a, a, a suspect or a perp or whatever you want to call him. That was flat ass murder. He was handcuffed on his stomach with your knee in his neck around the carotid artery location. For what? You know, they make up a special place in hell for people like you and for other cops that are like you. You don't have to like people of color but if you want us to respect the badge and humanize the badge, then you need to humanize the, the community and the people within it. All colors, all races, all creeds. It doesn't matter. Everybody deserves to live. And just because you have a badge and a little bit of power and authority does not give you the right to take someone's life needlessly. Needlessly, which is what that was. Because he wasn't that big of a threat to you if you felt comfortable enough, like I said, to have your hands in your pockets. Now, my question is, as an American society and community, what can we do to help stop these kinds of actions from happening again, even though we know they will on a daily basis. A lot of them we just don't hear about or see. But how many more people need to die senseless deaths because someone has a God complex or they feel like they have enough authority and power that they can get away with whatever they want judicial system. You need to do better. You need to stop protecting these animals who just go out and purposely cause harm to people, regardless of what the situation is. Police departments, sheriff's office, highway patrol, whatever branch of the, the law enforcement is listening to this, better training, better training. And anytime things like these happen, they need to be held to a standard. They need to be brought to justice. Just like you wanna bring justice to criminals, they are criminals in their own right. So they need to be held to that same standard that you hold the regular civilian public to. No if, ands, or buts about it. These kinds of things need to stop. We are all one, or we're supposed to be. We're one community, we're one country. We're supposed to look out for each other. We're supposed to take care of each other. And we're not doing that. It needs to stop. 
it needs to get better. Sometimes with the things that I see and the things that I hear that are going on, it almost makes me ashamed to call myself an American, born and raised in America, fought for this country for 12 years in the United States Army, to protect this country, to protect our citizens, our people, our family, our friends, the people within our borders. It makes me sad to know that I stood on the front lines for people like that. Would I serve this country again? Of course I would. Those of us who get up and put on that military uniform every day, regardless of the branch, we take an oath to defend our country, defend our constitution. Law enforcement, I thought you did the same thing, but apparently not. It's a sad, sad time that we're living in right now. And we all need to do better. We need to be better than what we are and what we're doing. Because this kind of actions is completely and utterly uncalled for. And we can no longer sit back and let these kinds of things happen with no ramifications or repercussions. Now, my challenge to you, judicial system, bring justice. Try and convict all these officers who are getting away with this kind of nonsense. They should not be exempt from the standard in any shape, form of the standard or the imagination. They should actually be held to a higher standard because they get up every day and put on that uniform and that badge and take that oath to defend the people and serve and protect, which they are not doing. You have your good cops, yes. And then you also have your bad ones, just like with any race, community, anything like that. You have good people, you have bad people, no matter what the situation. But just because they wear a badge does not make them exempt from the rules and the laws and the regulations. Or does it? Because that's how it seems. It seems like they can put that badge on and just do whatever the fuck they want to do. And it needs to stop. They need to be held to the same standard the rest of us are held to. Thank you for your time. Love you all.